Alright, this video I'm going to show you how to uh, find the cross product uh, of, of a vector using WX Maxima. Uh, WX Maxima is free software. You can download it. Just Google WX Maxima and install it. Uh, so here we've got two vectors, A and B. Okay, so and I want to find the cross product. So here, vector A is I plus 3J minus 2K, which that tells us that A is equal to the vector 1, 3, negative 2, and vector B is equal to the vector negative 1, 0, because there's not a J there, uh, 5. Okay, so I'm going to find the cross product of these two vectors. So if you want to, you can write them down because I'm fixing to switch off this screen and get on to WX Maxima. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so there's a, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. You can just enter in the vectors like they are, or you can assign variables to the vector. I'm going to, the first way I'm going to do it, I'm going to assign variables to the vector. So we've got vector A and vector B. So I'm going to say A, and then we have a colon, and then we're going to input the vector. So remember, A was the vector 1, 3, negative 2. Okay. And if we hit enter, what it does is it puts the vector, puts the vector there. If you don't want the vector to show, put a dollar sign behind it and hit enter and it it stores the vector and it but it uh it just doesn't display it. Okay? So either way, it's up to you. And then uh let's define vector B. Uh so that's the vector -1 uh 0 Five. I'll put a dollar sign. Hit enter. Now we have to uh, load the the vector package. So we'll type in load parentheses and then v e c t the vector package and hit enter. All right. So we've got that loaded now. And now to find the cross product, I'll do A and then tilde. <clears throat> okay, so tilde uh, on, on the keyboards, it's the key in the upper left corner, probably under your escape key or to the left of the one, okay, going across the top. And you have to hold the shift key to get down to get to it. Okay, so it's A tilde B, and then watch what happens if I hit enter. So it just it just displays the cross product. Okay, it displays the cross product. So I don't want it to do that. So I'm gonna hit the dollar sign and hit enter. Okay, and you notice it do, it doesn't expand the solution it doesn't show us the solution well you have to type in express okay and then parentheses percent sign and hit enter and then this would be the vector okay this is your solution and what the percent does is it expands the previous answer okay so let's just let's suppose that we did some other calculations or something okay so that's nice if you want to express the answer right underneath it but what what if you're coming up here and you do something like say two plus three and then you've got to uh, i don't know do some more well you know do some other you know uh calculations or something but then down in your document you need this answer again. So what we'll do is we'll type in express and then parenthesis and what we want is the output of this. And you can see this is the percent 
I6. So if I type in percent O for output and then the number 6 and hit enter, you can see it'll display the answer. And it'll do the same thing here. Instead of typing in percent, you can type in percent O6 also. Okay. All right. So now let, uh, let me show you the other way that we could do this. All right, so so the other way that we can do this, uh, you know, last time I defined them with the A and the B, but what I what you what also you can do is you can just put in the vectors uh, one, three, negative two. We're doing the same one, and then tilde, and then the other vector negative one. 0, 5. And if I hit enter, it like just like before it displays this, but last time it just said A tilde B. But that's because we defined A vector A to be this and vector B to be this. And just like before, you can put the dollar sign so it doesn't show it. And then if you type in express and then percent percent and hit enter and there's your answer. I don't know. I, I think I like defining them A, B, you know, because if you get some more vectors in there and you want to find the cross product of say if you have a say if you add a vector C and you need to find the cross the cross product of A and C, well then you can just type A tilde C instead of retyping the vectors in and just you know just define the vectors but this is another option uh, check out my other videos um, if there's some other videos you'd like to see for WX Maxima just leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do and uh, subscribe give me a like share and thanks for watching